Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Advanced Web Programming Practicals using Visual Studio 2015 introduced by Technolytics Take IT Easy. In today's video, I am going to create a web form to demonstrate the use of user controls. User controls basically is a separate reusable part of a page. We can put a piece of page in a user control and then reuse it from a different location. A notable difference is that user controls can be included on multiple pages while a page can't. User controls are used much like regular server controls and they can be added to a page declaratively just like a server control can. Now, here are a few steps while creating a user controls which you have to follow. Number one, add a new web user control. See, you have to add a new web user control in your empty website. This file will have extension dot ASCX. Number two, design user control as per your requirement. Number three, to use user control in dot ASPX page, that is your normal web page, you need to add the following line below the standard page declaration. That is percentage at the rate register. Followed with the properties such number four. Now you may use the user control in your page like any other control, such as UC colon, like how we write ASP colon. Likewise, you have written SRC, you have written tag prefix as UC, and hence you will start writing your tag with prefix UC colon tag name that is greetings, followed with the properties such as. ID, run at, etc. Now let's create one web user control uh, where two buttons are there. First button is greetings and second is clear. And after clicking on greetings button, this particular message will be displayed. And after clicking on clear button, this message will be vanished. Here I am having empty website. I'm just right clicking on my project and adding new item my item new item will be web user control i'll just change the name to capital uc you all can see the extension which i have received for this user control is nothing but as discussed dot ascx now i am clicking on the design tab as discussed i'll be using two buttons First button, I'll change the text as greetings. And second button, I'll check change the text as clear. Now also I'm adding one label from the toolbox. I'm changing the property of this label and getting the core color as dark blue. Okay. And font size I'll be checking as extra large okay also i'll make the text property as blank i don't want to display it in the page load itself now after double clicking on this button i want label one dot text is equal to technologics wishes you a bright future this greetings I want to give. So in text property, I have written it, but in the same property, the visible property, I'm making it as true. Okay. And the same thing, what I will do, the visible property, I will make false in my clear button. So what I will do, I'll go back on top only. You can see no, here it is not there. I'll go back, I'll double click on clear, and simply I'll just make the visible property of label as false. Okay. So, guys, my user control is ready. What is that? Here, two buttons are there, and one label is there. 
Now this user control, if I want to apply on any of the web page, how I can, let's learn that. So this user control with .acx is ready. Now let's add one web form as usual. So my web form is over here. Here also I'm giving the same name you see. You all can see the extensions are different. Okay, so you can see here on uh, top, just below this uh, directive, I'm using register directive. So percentage, percentage at the rate, register space. The first, uh, the first tag I'll be using is SRC equal to. My SRC is already displayed over here. Space tag prefix equal to. I'll be using tag prefix as you see. I like this name. This is a shortcut for user control. And next property which I'll be using is tag name. So I'm going to give tag name for this is as greetings. So I have created my own tag greetings with user control. Where user control you can see. This is my user control. Okay, so my user control, uh, I have registered it with source, with tag prefix and tag name. Now let's add this. So how you will add it? You see, you can see, you see greetings is already there. So I'm setting the ID equal to G1 and run at equal to of course server. So I've used this, uh, you see here. So you all can see, uh, guys, what I did, I have added this particular user control. I have registered it with source, tag prefix, and tag name. Using this tag prefix and tag name, I have used it inside my div tag in the form. I have set the ID and I have used, used the runner property to so simply added this user control in my web page. Let's run it. Okay, this page you see dot aspx with user control is ready. I'm clicking on greetings. You all can see clicking on clear. So greetings clear, greetings clear. So this page is working fine. How this is this page I never designed using normal web page, but I designed it in my user control and I have added my user control in my web page like that. You can add in n number of pages using this user control. Create it once and apply it, apply it for n number of times. So that is what uh, I wanted to cover in this uh, video. That is the uh, use of uh, user control. On behalf of Team Technologics, I thank you all for attending today's session and wish you all a very happy learning. Please like and subscribe our channel for more practicals.